So last year, my family and I went to Singapore. It was April 21 to 23, I believe. I forgot the exact date, but we went to Singapore during Holy Week. And these are going to be the 10 things that I love or like about Singapore. Number one, Singapore is a very clean country. It is very clean that I would literally lick the floor or the ground in Singapore if I have to. But there are some exceptions like for, um, what's that, Little India. Um, when I was there, I tried to go to their public toilet and well, it was not a good experience because it was like a toilet where you have to squat but that's not the bad part um squatting is okay for me the fact that the trash was all over the place it was all over the floor beside the toilet or the what, what do you call that squatting toilet or whatever it is and there was used diapers and used tissues and um, the person that we were with there said that it was really common that in Little India it's like that. So that's quite sad that that part of Singapore is very, you know, not very but it's dirty and the rest is spotless clean. Number two, the food. Now in Singapore you have very diverse cultures merging in one country and that means also diverse food. You have a lot of choices from Chinese food to Japanese food to even Filipino food to Western food and food from India. Um, when we were there, we were able to try street food, um, a Chinese street food, and we liked it. Number three, a lot of Singaporeans know how to speak English. This means that there is no language barrier at all and it was quite easy for us to get around and to buy food and to do anything because people could understand what we were saying and I think that is that was a great advantage for us that people could speak English in Singapore but there are some exceptions but most of the time we had no problem in terms of speaking with Singaporeans Number four is safety. Um, when we were here in the Philippines, we hear a lot of stories that, wow, Singapore is a very safe country. Singapore, nobody steals in Singapore. Singapore, there's a very low crime rate or there's nothing at all. <laughs> and when we got to Singapore, we found out that these testimonies are true. They're true, people. When we were there, I was very relaxed with my things. I was not putting my bag on front in front of me because I'm afraid of somebody might handpick or somebody might take my things away from me. And in Singapore, that's not the case at all. I was very relaxed and I was like, okay, just put my camera here, just put my cell phone here because nobody is going to take it. And if someone is going to take it, they will be caught because they're there was a lot of CCTV cameras and they'll be sent to a police station or whatever. I've never seen anything like that in Singapore so I can't really say that that is going to be the case. But Singapore is a very safe country based on my experience during my three-day trip there last year. There was also a time when we saw an umbrella at the lounge area of our hotel and it stayed there for about two days and nobody took it and on the third day someone took it and I think it's probably the owner remembering that oh I love my umbrella number five no slow traffic here in the Philippines we call a slow traffic flow simply traffic now in Singapore we did not experience traffic at all because a lot of people use public transportation. Number six, public transportations are always on time. Now in Singapore, just like in airports, um, there are indications when is the arrival and 
Um, I'm not sure if there's departure. I can't remember. How many minutes the bus or a train will arrive at the spot where you are at? And this is a great advantage because you know when what how many minutes you're going to wait for it. And in Tagalog or in Filipino, hindi ka maiinip because you know how much time you're going to wait. And usually they come on time or ahead of time. So yeah, I'm very impressed with that with that feature of Singapore. Seven, the discipline of people. Just as I mentioned, Singapore is a very clean country and that means that people are disciplined. And you could actually also see this in public transportations and in public places like when you go on an escalator. You're, if you're not going to walk fast or run, you're supposed to go to, just, to go to just one side because the other side is allotted for the people who are in a rush. Number 8! There is a lot of CCTV and we couldn't see a single police. Now when you're in a place and you notice that there is no police at all, well this is based on my experience in Singapore, I never saw a single police, just a cardboard cut out of a police. Back to my story, if you're in a place where there's no police at all, you, you see no police at all, it's either you're going to feel safe or you're going to feel unsafe. And with the case of Singapore, I felt very safe. Because when there is no police at all in a place like Singapore, you will think that there's no need for police to roam around, police to guard anything because, well, it is a very safe place. Now, in the case of the CCTV, if someone or something is lost, well, it's a very great advantage that there are available recorded videos of your everyday life in Singapore because <laughs> there are a lot of CCTVs in Singapore even our buses just as I said and there was was this one time when in a single room or in a single place I looked up and there was like four CCTVs packed together and and I thought we not just use a single one, but then <laughs> it's better to be safe than sorry. So, yeah. Sorry about that. The dog keeps on barking. Number nine, events. Now with Singapore, there are a lot of events that happens there. For example, Asia's Got Talent. I mean, come on, Asia's Got Talent. And on TV commercials, I always see. kind of envy Singapore because of that then I'm, why don't you go to Philippines why and I think that it is a great venue for them for their events number 10 there are a lot of places you could go to in Singapore now even though Singapore is a very small country there still are a lot of good places to go to Universal Studio Marina Bay Sands they have this very big mall that I don't know what its name is. Gardens by the Bay. And that, what's that? The sound and the water and lights dancing. And there is the luge. You could go through a luge. luge. And what else? I actually forgot all of the names. But there are a lot of things that you could do and go to in Singapore, even though it is a very small country. And I really enjoyed my three-day stay there. And I give Singapore two thumbs up. Overall, I enjoyed my stay there in Singapore. And I think it is the same with my family as well. And I'm looking forward to going back to Singapore, maybe with my family of my own or with someone special 
I don't know. And thank you very much Singapore for being such a beautiful country, a great country to go to. I enjoyed my stay there. So that's it for this. That's it for this video. <laughs> that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and may your hair never wither.